Hey everyone, it's Melissa with Anita Good Design, and I'm excited to join you today to talk about one of our techniques, um, paper piecing. So today's collection I'm going to be using to demonstrate is Paper Piecing Aviary, a beautiful collection featuring birds and all kinds of different species of them created with folded fabric. When the folded fabric is done inside of an applique, it is known as paper piecing. And there's traditional paper piecing, the English traditional paper piecing, and then there's the Anita way. So today I'm gonna to show you how we use three-step folded fabric to create these beautiful birds. Let's take a look at the materials we'll need to do this project. A piece of no-show mesh stabilizer, some quilt batting, a piece of base fabric, make sure you have enough for a half inch seam allowance on all four sides, some coordinating fabrics to use within your design, as well as some coordinating threads, and you will also want some tape to help secure your folds, some scissors for trimming, and a rotary cutter and ruler. To create our paper piecing project today, we are going to be making it on a quilt block. To start, go ahead and hoop a piece of no-show mesh stabilizer to fit your hoop like I did here. Then you can take your hoop and stick it into the machine. I went ahead and loaded the design into the machine, and the first step for all quilt blocks is going to be a squaring stitch to indicate where to place your batting. So we are going to take our thread that we want to use and go ahead and thread your machine. Once you have it threaded, go ahead and begin the first machine step. Again, this step is called a squaring stitch, even if the block would be rectangular. This is to indicate where our batting is going to be placed within the block. Once you've run the placement stitch, it's time to lay our batting. Take a piece of quilt batting and lay it over the squaring stitches, being sure to cover them on all four sides. Then you can return the hoop to machine to tack it down. Once your batting has been tacked down in place, we can remove the hoop from the machine and use a pair of curved tip scissors to trim away any excess batting. At this point, we are going to take our base fabric and make sure we lay it right side facing up over the batting. Again, you'll want to make sure you have enough fabric for a half inch seam allowance on all four sides. Once you have your fabric positioned, you can return the hoop to the machine and run the tacking stitch in a matching thread color. Once your two-ply tacking stitch has been ran, continue to run the decorative echo stitching that will go around the shape of your bird. This thread can match your base fabric, and you can also continue to run the design to the first placement stitch for the standard applique. Here you can see we ran our echo stitching, and we've run the first placement stitch for our first applique. It's important to note that the first piece of fabric laid in our paper piecing design will always be a standard applique, meaning it's going to get placed right side facing up. At this point, we're going to take our applique fabric, making sure we have the right side up, and place it over the placement stitch, ensuring the stitches are covered on all sides. You can now return the hoop back to the machine and run the tacking stitch. Once the applique has been tacked down, it should look something like this. At this point, we're gonna take a pair of curved tip applique scissors and trim away the excess fabric from around the tacking stitch line. Once trimmed, your applique should look something like that. Once you've ran the first standard applique, you'll repeat the same process for any remaining standard appliques until you reach the placement stitch for the first piece of folded fabric. In our design, we had three pieces of standard applique before we reached the placement stitch for the first fold. To begin the paper piecing process, we are going to identify our placement stitch and notice where the two lines overlap from the last piece of standard applique. We are then gonna take our piece of folded fabric and lay it right side facing down along where those lines intersect. You wanna make sure they are just barely covered. Once you have that, ensure your piece will be large enough to cover the section, and then when you're certain you're ready to go, you can return the hoop to the machine and run the folding stitch. Once your folding stitch has been ran, it's now time to fold the fabric over the line. If you need a little extra hold for your piece of fabric, you can use a piece of tape. 
take the piece of fabric and fold it across the folding stitch line and give it a good finger crease. From there, you can secure the fabric with the piece of tape. Return the hoop to the machine and run the tacking stitch for the folded fabric. Once you've run the tacking stitch for the folded fabric piece, it's now time to trim away the excess material. Use your curved tip scissors to do this. With the fabric trimmed, your design should now look something like this. Once your first piece of folded fabric is finished, follow your design's numbered machine steps to navigate through the remaining folds. It's important to note that depending which design you choose to run, some may have standard applique steps mixed into the folded fabric steps. As long as you follow your design's numbered machine steps, you should be able to navigate the design without any problems. Once you have finished all the folds, you can continue through the design to run the decorative embroidery following the indicated color changes in the design. Once your block is finished, it should look something like this. Now that our bird is finished, we can remove it from the hoop and trim the design to a half inch on all four sides. Once you've trimmed your block, your paper piecing aviary design is now finished. I hope you guys enjoyed learning a little bit more about paper piecing and the folded fabric process with me today. And be sure to check out the rest of our videos on YouTube and subscribe to enjoy more.